Will Mars crush humanity's dream of colonizing another planet with its lethal and hostile environment? Will it become a lonely, distant graveyard for the few brave souls who dared to challenge this desolate and unforgiving landscape? Humanity's dream of colonizing Mars has captured the imagination of scientists, visionaries, and the public alike for decades. It represents the ultimate frontier, a bold step toward becoming a multi-planetary species. Yet, beneath the optimism lies a harsh reality. Mars is not Earth, and despite our technological advances, our attempts to colonize it may ultimately fail. The challenges are monumental, spanning physical, psychological, logistical, and environmental obstacles that may prove insurmountable in the long term. The Red Planet is not just a barren landscape waiting for settlers, it is an alien world that may never yield to human ambition. The first hurdle to colonizing Mars is its unforgiving environment. Mars is a cold desert, with average temperatures hovering around minus 60 degrees Celsius or minus 80 Fahrenheit. In some regions and seasons, temperatures can plummet to minus 128 degrees Celsius. Unlike Earth, Mars lacks a thick atmosphere to trap heat or provide a breathable mix of gases. Its atmosphere is 95% carbon dioxide and only 0.13% oxygen, compared to the 21% oxygen we enjoy on Earth. Mars's atmosphere is also considerably thinner than Earth's, about 100 times thinner. This means the surface pressure on Mars is only about 1% of what it is on Earth. Everything about the Red Planet is hostile to human survival. It's a planet that will kill you in seconds. It has no compassion for colonizers or settlers, regardless of what you may think. To survive, humans would need sealed habitats, a constant oxygen supply, and robust life support systems. These systems would have to operate flawlessly for years, perhaps decades, and any failure could be catastrophic. Radiation presents another critical challenge. Mars has no magnetic field to shield it from the constant bombardment of cosmic rays and solar radiation. On Earth, our atmosphere and magnetic field protects us, but on Mars, radiation levels are several times higher than what astronauts experience on the International Space Station. Long-term exposure increases the risk of cancer, damages DNA, and weakens the immune system. Living underground or in heavily shielded habitats might mitigate the threat, but such solutions add complexity and cost to an already difficult endeavor. Gravity on Mars is both a blessing and a curse. At just 38% of Earth's gravity, it would be easier to move around and build structures. However, the effects of prolonged exposure to low gravity on the human body are poorly understood. On Earth, our bodies evolved to function under a specific gravitational force. Astronauts who spend months in microgravity experience muscle atrophy, bone density loss, cardiovascular strain, and vision problems. While Martian gravity is stronger than microgravity, it is still significantly weaker than Earth's, and over time, humans might suffer irreversible health effects. Children born on Mars could face even greater challenges, potentially growing up with physical limitations that prevent them from ever returning to Earth. Self-sufficiency on Mars is another daunting obstacle. Every resource needed to sustain human life, water, food, oxygen, building materials, would have to be transported from Earth or produced on Mars. Shipping supplies from Earth is astronomically expensive and impractical for a long-term colony. While Mars does have water in the form of ice, mining and processing it for drinking, agriculture and oxygen production would require significant energy and infrastructure. Growing food on Mars faces similar challenges. The planet's soil is toxic, filled with perchlorates that are harmful to humans. Hydroponics or other advanced agricultural techniques might work in controlled environments, but scaling these systems to sustain a large population would be incredibly difficult. The psychological toll of living on Mars might be the greatest challenge of all. Mars is a place of isolation and desolation. 
colonists would be millions of kilometers from Earth, with communication delays of up to 22 minutes each way. The mental strain of being so far from home, combined with the confined spaces of habitats and the lack of natural landscapes, could lead to depression, anxiety and conflict among crew members. On Earth, even in the harshest environments, people can still breathe fresh air, see the sky and feel the wind. On Mars, every aspect of life would be artificial and the lack of connection to the natural world could erode the human spirit. The logistics of establishing and maintaining a colony are staggering. Transporting people and equipment to Mars requires enormous amounts of energy and resources. Current rockets can only carry limited cargo, and each trip takes months. Establishing a sustainable colony would require hundreds, if not thousands, of missions. The costs are astronomical and the risks are high. Even if we manage to establish a foothold, the colony would remain dependent on Earth for decades making it vulnerable to supply chain disruptions, political instability and economic downturns back home. Long-term survival on Mars would depend on the ability to create a self-sustaining ecosystem. This involves building systems that can recycle air, water and waste efficiently, as well as generating sufficient energy to power the colony. While solar panels and nuclear reactors might provide energy, their longevity and reliability in the harsh Martian environment are uncertain. Any breakdown in these systems could jeopardize the entire colony. Mars' frequent dust storms, which can last for months and cover the planet in darkness, further complicate energy generation and maintenance. Mars also lacks the biological diversity that sustains life on Earth. On our home planet, countless microorganisms work invisibly to support ecosystems, breaking down waste, enriching soil, and cycling nutrients. These systems evolved over billions of years and are incredibly complex. Recreating such a system on Mars would be an unprecedented scientific challenge, and any imbalance could have disastrous consequences. Even if humanity manages to overcome the physical and logistical challenges, there are ethical and philosophical questions to consider. Should we risk contaminating Mars with Earth life, potentially destroying any native ecosystems, or preventing the discovery of extraterrestrial life? What happens if the colony fails, leaving behind stranded colonists or environmental damage that we cannot undo? Mars is not a blank slate, it is a world with its own history and mysteries, and our presence there could irreparably alter it. Ultimately, the harsh realities of Mars may defeat humanity's ambition to colonize it. The planet's environment is hostile, its resources limited, and its isolation profound. Every aspect of life on Mars would be a struggle, and the cumulative weight of these challenges might prove too great to bear. However, there is one possible solution that could change the equation. Terraforming. If humanity could gradually transform Mars into a more Earth-like planet, with a thicker atmosphere, higher temperatures, and liquid water on the surface, it might become a more hospitable place to live. This would require monumental effort, possibly centuries of technological and environmental manipulation, but it offers a vision of a Mars where humanity could one day thrive. For now, Mars remains a distant dream. Our efforts to colonize it may push the boundaries of science and engineering, but the Red Planet is not waiting to welcome us. It is a world that will test us to our limits and beyond. Perhaps humanity's greatest achievement will not be conquering Mars, but learning to find a way to build a future that respects both the limits of our species and the amazing possibilities of exploring the grandeur of the universe. We hope you enjoyed our exploration into humanity's future colonization of Mars and invite you back for our next episode